Oh, that is not good. I'm over. No way. And we can't get it slowed down. Oh, this is not good. But can it? Right, let's go for a tour around this track, around the West Coast Street Circuit. With the winner of the Utah series, the Gavel Vertex. So, let's see. We go down this big straight here and we get a lot of speed but we also have to break to get round this very interesting corner right we're going up to the trickier section of the course you've got to get this quite right to get it get a very fast time and here we are we're going to turn this way there we are now we're on to the big straight up the hill and here we are going down gotta go down this hill and we're gonna turn for this corner And then they're gonna go down this little straight here, the final stretch. And across the line. That's a real good track. You should, uh, if you like that track, go like and subscribe and I'll bring some more. So, let's get on with the video. Hello guys, then we're here and today we're playing another episode of PMT Drive. Welcome to Vanilla vs. Modded Season 2, Episode 2. Now, we've got a great lineup today. I have randomized it, uh, the cars. Well, not randomized the cars, but randomizing the selection of cars. So, they've been randomly picked. And we have the Raven, the Rubicon, the Cavill D series, and the Cheerio. Now, Hopefully the Chariot won't have as, bad, as much bad luck as it, as it did in the first season. But, let's move on to the aim of the game. Aim of the game is to, well, time trial. Beat your opponents. But, there's also a team aspect to it. If you, uh... If you... Well, the team who has the most damage loses the damage report. So, you want to aim for as much clean racing as possible. So, let's start off with the Raven for the modded team. Three, two, one, go! Look at that good start, it is such a good car. It just goes wherever I want it to. Now, it'll be very quick through this straight here. It'll have just enough time to switch into gear four. And it was taking that inside, which isn't really used. Well, not in testing anyway. But it's cornering quite well. It's doing very well through the technical section so far. And it's made through the technical section with uh, little damage. But the fenders moved out quite a bit, as you can see. Over that second jump it's still doing quite well over that third jump it's doing quite well and there we are slow down for the that corner and we're doing a little bit of off-road but that's all right the raven can handle that and it is taking these corners so well it's a very good handling car i must say and here we are, across the line. Okay. Look at that. That is a good time. Time is up on screen now. And I hope you guys enjoyed that run. I know I did. But 
I know, I, I know what the car looked like before I uh, crashed into a pole up to the start of the up to the finish of the race so I'll keep that in mind so <clears throat> on to the next competitor right here we have the Jeep Rubicon it is a very lovely car it is the sport edition and I love it to bits it is it performed well in the uh, in the first season and I enjoyed its uh, off-road capabilities and also how fast it could go on that off-road capability course so let's start three two one go it lots of wheel spin from this uh, for a start but everything else seems pretty good it is very very fast once it gets going and with that suspension it just It'll go anywhere. Oh, that's not good. I didn't plan for this. It's going to take a whole lot of time off that, off the run. But the car seems to be broken. And I think that's it for the Jeep Rubicon. I'm sorry to say. But it does not look like any of the wheels are moving and the drive shaft has been broken so on to the next competitor right here is the Gabriel D series it is the road version and I think this livery looks quite nice on it don't you agree well comment down below what you what you like about vanilla versus modded and I might get back to you on the next episode so Let's give this road beast a try. Three, two, one. Already wheel spinning when the with the rev up, but it is starting quite fast. Well, most of them have. There hasn't been a real slow one just yet. It did a bit of a donk, and then oh, bit of a drift. But that was a good save by the Gabriel D series. It's struggling for traction, I think. But in this technical section, I think it will do well. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. This isn't good. But it'll shave some more time off, but it's only got the Raven to compete with at this point. But that radiator will not be helping. The temperature, at least. And it's climbing up these hills. Bit of a bounce from that back end, but other than that was okay. It does have uh, quite a bit of suspension anyway. So we've got to stop. Stop at the moment. Oh, that the bumper getting taken off was actually quite helpful for us to get round the corner and not spin. And oh, so close! And now we need to quickly, quickly go to the finish line. We have quite a lot of damage, but you never know who's going to win that damage report. And across the line we went. And here is the damage quite a bit on that. And remember the Raven only really had a, a fender flopping out and a bit of a front bumper broken. But you've also got to take into account the uh, Jeep Rubicon who was really, really smashed. So, other than that, I think this car looks pretty good. Pretty good shape. Still runs pretty nice even with that radiator a bit busted. So, let's move on to the final competitor of the day. Right, here is the Cheerio. Now, it did not perform very well in Season 1, but you never know with this road version, it might top the charts. So, let's go. 3, 2, 1, 
go. Off the line we go. This is probably the fastest run of the day. Look at that turbo. Listen to that turbo, I should say. And we're probably going to slow down a little bit just so we can get around this corner. And I actually thought that front bumper was higher than that. But it took both bumpers off. And this has got to be a real fast time by cutting some of that corner. Over jump number one seems pretty fine by that. Over jump number two is quite fine with that one. Over jump number three and I think number four is going to be quite soft. And there we are. We are now heading up to the final corner. We don't want to stop it up now. And here it is. The Cheerio. It is doing quite well. No flips this season. And across the line. Wow. What a run from the Cheerio. Here's the time on screen. Oh wow. And also remember I can't. I don't know the times until I edit the video. So. We will see. Who has won. But. Let's get on to the damage report. So, we have a DNF, which is the Rubicon. So that's not going to help mod it any mu uh, very much. But, uh, remember, the Raven only had a minor bumper injury and a flopping fender. So, if you look at the, uh, the Gable D series, it has quite a bit of damage. But if you look at the Cheerio, it's only got both bumpers taken off and some flappy front fenders so I think we'll have to give this one to vanilla so let's see who won